What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. We have a massive unboxing for you today. A whole bunch of stuff has come in through the mail. Some new things from iCast is yeah. already here that we get to now go test on the water, maybe even today. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, some crazy products. Some of the weirdest fishing lures we could find on the internet finally arrived. And an injector. And a thing that injects scent. It's a needle. It looks terrifying. It's so scary. It should not have been delivered to us. Not to me. <laughs> if anybody should possess this needle, it's not these two guys. So we're going to run through this. Uh, we're going to be quick with some of the things because we've already done full videos on them. So we'll just reference those vids and you can check it out later. There's also a secret bait. We've got the July Monster Bass Box for your viewing pleasure. We're going to get, this is ro rocket speed, we yep. told you. This will still be available on monsterbass.com if you guys want to get it. It might even be on sale if this is posting in August. Yeah. So see if you can grab it. So the first thing in the box is interesting. It is a deep diving jerk bait. Uh, it's from Reaction Strike XRM 100. MD, which means mega deep. <laughs> but Rick says, I don't know what that's. Rick, says, Rick says it's shallow diver. Rick said fish this thing shallow. Uh, <laughs> I do think it is floating, so maybe that's what he meant. But it does dive down to six to ten feet. But check that out. Just a nice, ooh, very loud jerk bait. Hefty. Big bite baits. The sensation ram tail. Is that what it is? Yeah, the ram, the ram tail, tail thirty five. So intriguing. Check this out. It's I thought like, this was a frog. It is a frog. It's like half a frog. But it's a, <laughs> ideally a jig trailer. It's a jig trailer. So flat bottom, which we really like. That's going to keep it up. It's got this uh, very curvaceous body. Curvaceous. And then the old ripply tails, the kicky feet. This is kind of dope. Scent infused formula. That, Next. That's going to be a, a that's pretty why sweet jig trailer. Sensation. sensation. I love a little wordplay. Uh, next one you guys probably know and love. It's the Yozuri 3DB Pencil. This is a top water walking bait with two hooks. Uh, caught a thousand fish on this thing. I love this bait. Bangs. Rolo 6. I've never used this color, but I've seen it before. This one dives four to six feet, two and a half inches long, half ounce, does Rolo things. So next up, we got two types of jigs, one bladed, one not. First up, you got the Chatterbait Elite. I don't think we've had the Elite in the box before, usually just the original. So we've got a, you know, kind of souped up Chatterbait here. But we got the black and blue color here, which is pretty awesome. I think this one was a half an ounce. Nope, three eighths of an ounce. There we go, Chatterbait, Chatterbait's rock. This is the Sup Jig from Lifted Jigs. It's called the Sup because it's got this, this is the bottom. It's a flat bottom, so it's a stand-up presentation. Five out super hook. Hefty weed guard. I'm probably trimming that bad boy right there. And we're throwing the ram tail on it. Yeah, we're probably putting the ram tail on there, but look at the this this hat has got a chip resistant paint. It looks really nice. It's like a matte. And then you've got sort of a standard hook keeper. The standard ones are nice because, or hook keeper, bait keeper. Standard ones are nice because you can put anything on there. You don't have to worry about ruining it. Three eighths ounce, pretty dope. Last but definitely not least, we have for our chatterbait pleasure, the <laughs> super-sized goat. You can say it like that. I can say whatever I want. What do you think this is? The bi It's called the billy goat. So this thing is rad. This is the upsized goat. Uh, these things, if Four. you haven't used them before, great kicky feet, awesome on buzz baits. I've actually got one rigged up on a buzz bait I've been fishing right here. That's a culprit buzz bait. Four and a quarter it's inches. It's, it is the goat of goats. Throw it on your chatterbait this way or sideways. Both ways are great. Boom, that's the MB box. Look who was in the guide. Those guys these, are cool. Those guys are neat. Rudd, mostly the back there. Yeah, I wasn't talking, no, these guys are Nerds. the worst. There you go, Rick and Rudd right there for your pleasure. Stop saying for your pleasure. All right, next thing for your pleasure, we Rudd. will be unboxing. I don't need Rick for my pleasure. <laughs> Stays in the flick? Stays in the flick. <laughs> I promised extremely weird baits. <laughs> We actually bought these months ago, yeah. and they've not made it to an unboxing yet, so we decided it was time. There's a lot of America right here. There's a whole lot of America and also not America right here, but <laughs> you can get these from line cutters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to say it was 30 bucks for the three-pack, but you get your your Trump, your Biden, and your Zelensky, <laughs> which is, they're all topwater baits. <laughs> yeah. uh, Zelensky's got the prop. Zelensky's got a, a prop. <laughs> I'm going to fish that today. These are froggy boys. And these homies are frog boys. So, uh, yep, Paul made me buy them. I sure did. <laughs> if we weren't going to get the Pokemon topwater, like, exactly. we had to get these. That's right. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Next up, you're going to see some baits from Fish Lab. You've seen a couple of these in our mm. Fish Lab video from iCast, so go check it out if you want all the details. We're going to give you the high-level primer detail. Uh, first thing you need to know, this is too much packaging. Holy crap! <laughs> 
There's more packaging than bait. That's we're, not a good ratio. We're gonna take them out of there, which is what we always do with the Nature Series. Here's how it ends up. Nature Series has too much plastic, so we usually empty them out, combine all the bags, and then we stuff it into a bigger bag like this. So once you get the plastic off, comes this huge clamshell with a lid. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? They really are keeping them safe. All right, so again, without going too much detail, this is a nice trailer frog, but you can put this on an open hook as well. You'll notice that the tail is upside down. That's so that when it goes underwater, or when it's on the top of the water, the tail is actually being pushed downwards. It stays underwater, hence the downward tail here. Funky looking bait. This is their standard frog that you've seen lately. Funky looking bait, but when you hear all the details on the, on the video from the designer, this thing's pretty heckin' sweet. Buzz bait, for sure. Open hook, for sure. There's no wrong way to do it. Just get it wet. And by the way, when he says the designer, he's talking about Bill Siemental. Who's that guy? Who is the creator of BBZ, the Big Bass Zone. So he's been making baits that catch gigantic bass forever. Check this out. I just threw it on a buzz bait. There is a buzz bait in the Fish Lab kit that we're going to be using, but just wanted to throw it on one that I've been using lately. Speaking of that buzz bait, here it is with their regular frog, not with the long tail. But that is a pretty dope combo. Again, I wanted all the details. I'm going to show you something really quick. I'm not even going to get out of the package. There are actually two blades in here. That is an old school design. That's an old school way of doing uh, buzz baits, but they sort of revived it and made some updates. Again, go check out that video. And if you're a members only, or if you're a member, you can look at the members only video, which has all the expansive details on these baits from Bill, who designed them. And I'm going to show you every spinner bait color like this. Ready? <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we got all of the new spinner baits. So they just got into wire baits this year. These are really cool. We've got Colorado blades as well as double willows. So we have this shad pattern there, a little white and gray, looking beautiful. I'm loving this one, that green pumpkin and a hint of chartreuse. But these are coming with a mimic tail. Look at, there's a mimic tail already on it. Oh, the dark water special with some Colorado on there. What's a mimic tail? A mimic tail is a really cool short tail. <laughs> They're right here. You show them that. So this is the mimic tail. I'm going to step in here. So this is a, uh, 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 for wired baits. So this is really for, could be buzz baits, but really like chatter baits and spinner baits. You can see you put it in. There's a special spot for the hook right there. Seats it perfectly. And this is not going to ruin the intended action of the spinner bait, but gives you a little chunky trailer. Comes in a bunch of different colors. There's even like a red and a whole bunch of other ones. These yeah. are freaking awesome. And all these spinner baits come pre-rigged with one. So you already got a trailer on there. It is ready to go right out of the package. Match. Bluegill, baby. That's my favorite color, so too. hands down. Uh, we got a white. We got uh, that chartreuse double willow blade there. So we basically have every color. Oh, I didn't even notice this. That shad pattern has chartreuse on the jig head. That's <laughs> pretty rad. Uh, we basically have every color in a double willow and a double Colorado blade. And finally, Bam, bluegill, double Colorado. Look at the, that's upsized Colorados on this one too. Good call. So I showed you like a ghost color, like a clear with a purple. The toad also comes in this like green pumpkin with green flake color. They never put the names on here and I can never remember them because they're insane. You get the all black, which you gotta have for anything top water. Uh, then you get the true watermelon, the green pumpkin color with the red flake. And then, oh, and then another one of the, uh, the ghosties. So yeah. those are your color patterns right there for the toad. That's everything from them. Use the code in our bio. Tell them we sent you. Why you gotta throw stuff on my desk? Because it's not my desk. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What? <laughs> let's get injected. Now let's say you had a mimic tail and you were like, gosh, that'd be so cool if it had like some sort of crazy scent that wasn't just like salty or whatever. What if you wanted to inject it? You could do that with this. <laughs> With this. The, I call this the ecstasy bear. <laughs> Look at how happy he no, it's, is. It's cocaine bear <laughs> from the movie Cocaine Bear. <laughs> no, no, no. As, as seen in This cocaine bear, bear is in pure ecstasy of his sketches. Look at him. He could not be happier. So uh, I'll hold this up. You can maybe scan. Will this work through YouTube? <laughs> you can scan that if you want to find out more. Uh, Bambooey Bear, we ran into him at, uh, kind of randomly, because we met with... Z-Bayco. So Hunter from Z-Bayco pulled us aside yep. and took us to the Bambooey Bear booth, oh, I like that, at iCast. Now, uh, had no idea what I was getting into, but we made a couple short videos for, like, TikTok or whatever, and, uh, one of them, so they make a metal ring for your wacky rigs. It's yep. a super cool idea, so go check that out. They also... Uh, make a, a basically indestructible drop, drop shot. shot. They put a tuna swivel on a drop shot. It's super heavy duty. So if you ever have your top bent over yep. after you've been using it, 
These cannot do that. They're incredible. So that's what we, that's what I made videos of. The footage I lost, the audio was terrible, of this. So this is a scent injector. It comes with these refillable tubes on the inside, and you can do whatever you want, or it can use there. So this one came preloaded. Uh, I'm gonna open this for you. Look at, so just so deadly. Now what really got me was they had some videos, and they showed the scent dispersion. I, we actually asked them for the footage. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to steal it, and I'm gonna have to make a different video and show this to you guys, because you can see under the water like a neon glow of the scent coming out this does a like probably the best job you can do of both getting the scent in there but not just like coming off immediately like they yeah. have like sticks and all that kind of this is the, the the legit deal they also said there's one that doesn't have any scent in them this one is already ready to go preloaded i don't even know what scent is in there but there's a lot of it you can use whatever you want though so yep. if you're a power bait guy or whatever z bako we're gonna use some of his stuff in there the bass syrup the bass mean? syrup we'll put that in there uh we're gonna make another video on this one later but we wanted to show it to you guys and call bamboo bamboo bear thanks dude and uh still has the best logo in the game i want ecstasy bear hat that's what i oh! <laughs> that's what i really want is ecstasy bear hat while we're on cool people sending us cool things we actually met with brandon brown of brown bait co down at icast and uh he gave us this Look at this thing. So we got a little swim bait crank here. It's got a circuit board lip. Little? And uh, well, little relative to what Brennan Brown wants us to fish. <laughs> he did build this. This is custom made. Uh, and I believe he said this was out of basswood. Basswood. How freaking cool is Didn't that? Didn't know that that existed until today. The color is so great. Look at that glitter. Oh, it's coming through great on the camera, I think. Look at that reflective, like, lunar stellar glitter going Ooh. on with some chartreuse and he's even got the swivel for the treble hooks down on the bottom really really cool bait can't wait to fish this thing uh big bait season is going to be in full effect here in like two months for us like nobody knows big all fall long nobody knows big baits like brendan so uh, you know it's legit you can get one of those made for you if you want go chat go check out brown bait co if you'd like to do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a special project for you. It's gonna be a full on video because it's quite the endeavor. And it starts with this, so just show them the thing. Well, no, it started with the, we were on, we were on our live stream and someone was like, huh, we, we were talking about, oh, how cool would it be if we had a, an ultra light A rig, named the AAA, aggressive AAA, AAA rig. The triple A rig. So we made one. So I made a terrible one, look at this. <laughs> but it caught. It caught two fish, actually, uh, and the problem is this head section up here, obviously. So and it's just not well put together. I just took a bunch of really light wire, tied it all together, put a 132nd ounce of weight on it, and, I mean, it works, but we want to make it way better. So we were at the Do It Molds at ICAST. We were talking with Do It Molds. We were at their booth, and we were like, oh, we're trying to make this. Can you help us make this? He's like, yeah, I can help you make that. But also, it was he more had like an idea. He was like, easy. hey, one of these already exists. So I went to Baitworks and I actually bought the one that he was talking about. Yep. And here it is. <laughs> this is an ultralight A-rig, and you'll see what we mean once we pop this thing out. It's so, like full size, so this but is, lightweight. So this is by Diamond, uh, Diamond Baits. Mm -hmm. Is it Baits? Diamond Baits. The 4.5 4 inch Frenzy rig, and I've seen this, I've seen this text somewhere. Where have you seen that, that font before? Oh, that's called Edo, and it is in Canva. <laughs> yeah. And we use it on thumbnails. No judgment, bro. I use this stuff all the time. <laughs> so I'm, gonna, I'm not making up fonts over so here. I'm, no, God, no. So let's pull this out of the tube, and let's see what we're dealing with here. This thing is pretty sick, so I'm going to get the paper off. So he's got his twisted up nicely, and then he's got it some sort of wrap around here. Now this is on a on a swivel, which we like to see. That's that's a super good idea, actually. Uh, and then it looks like he's got it crimped right here on the swivel, and that's how he's keeping it rock steady, which is what we struggled with. Because by putting a head, like a mold in the head here, it gets very difficult and there's not really anything that exists. He's got his on a five arm. So one, two, three, four, with a little flashies, and then a fifth in the middle. Then he's got these heavy duty hooks right here. Those are snaps. Snaps is what I meant, sorry. <laughs> there's your little snaps on swivels there at the end with your little danglies, four arms, one big boy with your target right here. Now this thing is pretty light. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's still a little too big for what I run and run. The arms are of a thicker gauge wire than I would personally like to see for something that's truly ultra light. We're talking the whole rig, I would like to be less than a quarter ounce with the baits, yep. with the plastics, 
and the jig heads if you're using them and the hooks. And we want to throw it on BFS gear. That's really the intention. Yes. So the reason we want to downsize this is to be able to cast that out on BFS because it's going to catch. Like it's it's guaranteed to catch. Nobody, no fish in the water you fish is going to be afraid of this thing. No. It's going to look like an awesome meal. And yeah, I'm really... I'm, I'm pumped about it. So what do we got to do? All I want to say is respect to Diamond Baits because this is really cool and well executed. And I will be using this. And this is the inspiration for when we talk to Do It Molds. They're like, well, what can we possibly do? What can possibly happen? How can we make this on our own and make it the right way? Enter Do It Molds. They sent us some stuff to hook us up to help us make our own. We have to pour some lead, baby. So we've got jig head weights from 5 eighths of an ounce all the way down to 1 32nd of an ounce. Now, we're also going to have to get the, the lead smelter. Mm -hmm. We got to get some ingots. Mm -hmm. We got to start melting some metals. You can't just microwave that? Mm, I, you could try it if yeah, you, you want. Yeah, you give it a shot. Let home, me know how it goes. Home microwave. He's got it. <laughs> we're going to figure that out. Uh, and our goal is to, we got to get some different wire. We're going to put that wire together, pour some lead over top of that baby, and hopefully come we can out do the this. other end with a great triple we can do this. rig. But wait, there's more. Send us a two-inch ripper mold. Because he was like, well, what kind of plastics do you want to put on there? Dude, check that out. Little ribbed paddle tail. So he sent us the CNC mold two-inch ripper. That's the perfect size for this rig. Uh, and then you, you know you're talking to someone who knows fishing. was like, what kind of hook are you going to use? What kind of jig do you want to use? You use this for air, you gotta upsize the hook. Bar, 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 bar. Perfect idea. So he sent us two kinds of hooks. So we got the Gamakatsus in a size two and four, and they look like this. This is the two. Check this out. Bam! So this is what we're gonna be throwing our jig heads on. Look at that. I think it's freaking rad. It's Gamakatsu, so it's gonna be super sharp, well made. Yep. So you got your weight right here, right? And so, the elbow gives something for the for the metal to actually like to grab, to grab to versus yeah. sliding up and down the hook. So that's going to be fun because we've never made jigs before. <laughs> a, little of, a little bit of homework that we got to do there. I'm no, excited. I'm not looking up anything. All right, so now we have a secret bait. So I was... Uh, secret. Shh, shh, shh. Don't tell him. <laughs> Who's the best smallmouth fisherman that you know? That I personally know? Yeah. Ben Noack. Yeah, who's the best smallmouth fisherman you've ever heard of? <laughs> Potentially Ben Noack. He's very, very good, and he's very well known as a smallmouth magician. Yeah. Uh, so he has partnered with Excite Baits to create his own drop shot bait. And if you know Ben, he knows finesse, he knows smallmouth, you know it's going to be a winner. Now, I've not been like uh, an Excite Baits fanatic. I've had a couple in the past, never really used them before. Um, I will be doing so now. So I went mm -hmm. and picked up four of the kind of baits that he poured. So I want to show them to you right now. So this bait is called the Minobi, and uh, it's two baits in one. Obi one Minobi? There is a color called Old Ben. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the color Old Ben, I was told by Ben that, uh, which is funny, that... Um, Alex Rudd said that they had to have that color, uh, that name, and so they I mean, do. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. So it is when it's rigged with the flat side down, like I'm holding it. It's a drop shot bait. So this is, I think, three inches, three and a quarter, three point three inches. So a medium size. You're gonna weed out some of the super small fish, but you're not really. I mean, you could catch anything with this. So flat on the bottom, drop shot. It's got this awesome looking tail, little bulbousy portion in the rear, and a couple fins on it. And you kind of wonder, like, well, why are there fins on it? When you flip it over and rig it the other way, it's meant to be run on like an ultra light jig or on like a Ned rig. Mm -hmm. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna dart and float around. So you can see it's rounded on top. You can see a little bit of texture there. You see the two fins here and one here. So when it's like this, it's going to create a hunting and diving action and you can run this on a really, really light jig. So this you can run at 3.30 seconds, get the slow fall and you get this darting motion as you're hopping it back. So it's a Ned rig. It's like a minnow presentation, but it's also a phenomenal drop shot all in one. I really love the idea of this design. Uh, and then the color schemes are phenomenal. So you're looking at this purpley smoke gold, which is like a, a Great Lakes must have color. Another must have color is Morning Dawn. Oh my gosh. It's that a good look, one too. It's when, a good one. When Morning Dawn comes out clean, that's awesome. And then we've got the Mango X. This is a staple. So if you're a Berkeley flatworm user, that is Mango Magic, which is a murderously good color. They also have Caution, so you gotta have your straight chartreuse. If Ben picked these colors, I know they're good, which makes me feel better about myself as a fisherman, 
because these are like four of the colors that I would like always have. There are other colors. I didn't get them all. Sorry, Ben, my, my pocketbook's only so deep. But I got the ones that mattered. So while I was perusing the site, I was like, oh, what else is on Excite? You know what I mean? Because uh, I was very impressed with these. I grabbed this fluke. What's this color called? Mardi Gras? Are you joshing me right now? Look at that color. This is bonkers. This is very much like tilapia magic, uh, like the alternate for tilapia magic. I love this color. Uh, I mean, this is just kind of a standard, this will crush. Open hook, Straight tail weightless, fruit. run it. It will catch. But you know what's even more exciting? Oh, God. This little raptor trailer. <laughs> Look at that. So we got like a nice chunk body for uh, for a jig trailer or even just- I would Just a net, baby. Just, Flip it, net it, do whatever. But look at these super thick claws yeah. that are going to undulate. Undulate. We love a good undulation. <laughs> uh, I like that they had the flaps still on this, though. Like, on this shorter body, they added yeah. the flaps. You got the antenna. There's a ton of action in this thing. Watermelon this gold. Watermelon gold. Another color. The color is what drew me in. And then as I was looking at it closer, I was like, oh, yeah, baby. Please go check this out. Uh, we're not affiliated with Excite at all. I just thought these baits are cool. And we know that Ben Nowak is a monster. If he designed it, it will catch. I feel very good in saying that. Go get them. I'll be fishing them all year long. Jeff gets none of these. Wait, I get none of those? That's rude. Ha! Fine, whatever. You can pass them. I don't care. No, I don't want yours. All right, good. You're not getting them. Good. Get my own. <laughs> the reason everybody comes to an unboxing is for a nice handwritten letter. <laughs> get, get your glasses out. Hang on. <laughs> hey, nerds. Good start. <laughs> all right. That was the letter. Well, let's unbox this stuff. So we do have this giant box from Rocket Blades, uh, who is one of our amazing subscribers. And he always writes a nice little letter. All right, time for the baits. Let's get into this. I was starting out with this thing. Okay. Look at this. Danny King's catfish punch bait. You gonna I, smell it? We're gonna go fast. I have I have a spot for this, Raka, and uh, I love catching catfish. God damn. <coughs> Close it. <laughs> Close it. Tight. It is closed. So that's a good sign, Raka. It's not a good sign. Uh, it's a good sign. This, oh, I God. can't, this will work. I didn't think that smell could exist. I gotta get that out of my mouth. <laughs> I need to get it out of my nostrils. <sighs> my God. Pungent. Oh, okay. Can we, should we do these? We're fine, yep. So we've got some curly tail grubs. Hell yes. So you've got a chartreuse and white, dude, and with a, th a thick thumping tail. Thick. <laughs> and then you've got, this is probably gonna be the one that oh, I think will probably sure. do the most damage. The black with chartreuse. Chartreuse and black is a combo that like yeah. goes unheralded, yeah. but always slaps. Black gives it like the size and works in the dark water, and then the chartreuse yeah. is like, oh hey, look at that! This color is just straight up rad. It's like a smoke with, what is this? Blue and silver flake. Always will slap. And then you get the always good pearlescent white with the black flake. Those are gonna be killer trailers on anything hook under uh, uh, under a bobber it doesn't matter but specifically from this box he intended them to be used on these buzz baits and we yes. have a couple different kinds so the first one is this stanley ball buster look at look at the balls on there <laughs> that's cool man <laughs> look at this so i mean we got like a, a normal size blade i would say maybe even undersized blades on this but look at that there's these little silver balls on here and that blade is going to be knocking into that <laughs> look at that that's awesome uh yeah i mean this is sweet i love the jig head shape too that's going to make it super easy to get up on plane and this is like a lightweight buzz bait also got one in black and blue but look at this streamer material in the buzz bait skirt i'm digging it uh if you don't remember hail where have we seen these before where have we seen hail before? Uh, the craw worm. That's right. That was in uh, the Monster Bass box. Three times. Three times. A very OG, a very OG bait, and a very oh OG bait company. Gosh. Now this is this thing is wild. So uh, prepare your mind palace to be invaded. <laughs> 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 so you've got what looks like maybe an overspin. So you got a jig head, uh, a nice yeah. jig with a really nice skirt. Actually, a very like soft skirt. Standard hook keeper, short shank hook, little swim bait style, but you actually get two antennas here with two blades. So it's like a over spinner blade bait jig. Give me, give me that. Give me that. It's wild. It's a little blade party. I've never seen this done. It's tied on with skirt material. Yeah. That's insane. That yeah, you're right. It's, it's very, tied on with skirt material. It's so plush. I love the jig head though. That it's little cool. inline wire tie. Three eighths ounce. All right, this is probably the thing we're most excited about in this box, bar none. So we got two 
three sixteenth ounce buzz baits. These are in the same color, so here you go. Get out of here. That's all you're getting. <laughs> I like today. that they say on top of it. It says not for human consumption. You're not supposed to eat the buzz bait. <laughs> all right, check these out though. Up close, we got a nice downsized little buzz guy here. Three sixteenths of an ounce, so we're gonna be able to cast this on our BFS setups, and then we've got a little screw lock bait keeper here, so we can just throw something up on that. Jig head shape looks nice. I mean, I'm excited for this. I've got a couple like small buzz baits that I've been throwing around on BFS. BFS buzz, let's go. All right, so next we've got the H&H &H Tournament Tackle Cajun Tails. If you guys are not familiar with a beetle spin, all right, the old school Johnson beetle spin, this is something that would like come with it as the trailer. These are diff. Ooh, whoa. So check that out. The color is freaking wild. These do really well under an ultralight spinner bait. So sort of yep. like the Bronco blade. This is yep. like a perfect Bronco blade trailer. These you can also put in the river on an inline spinner, or you can just rig them up under a bobber and let them drift, and these will crush. Uh, these are these come one, in a these come in a ten pack. Look, this one's a ghost. This one has. Ooh. It's freaking awesome. So <laughs> these have this has scent injected by Bamboo Buoy written all over it. Can you even inject this? Oh, yeah. It's like made of adamantium steel. There's a way to find out. Needs, and then we've got the help. we got the black and yellow, two ghosts, two black and yellow, and two of these, I don't even know. Oh. Oh, this is another one. So another hail? There were two of these hails? It's the same thing, right? Apparently we should have dumped this out first. No, we're good. <laughs> so we also get that same hail bait. Oh, green pumpkin, purple gold flake. Dude. Uh, as advertised, very accurate color description. But I will say, the gold and purple is very, like, subtle. This is nice. Feel how soft that is. Oh, yeah. That's super plush. No, these are really, I really don't even cool. know if I'd put a trailer on that. So next up, though, we've got these beautiful babies right here. So these Talk were to out, me. These were picked out by River, Raka's daughter. Wait. And they are... Yeah, they look different this way. Oh, my lord. <laughs> they'll, they'll never know unless they get them. And it's a color change. <laughs> right? From this direction with the light, pure purple. From this direction with the light, it's green actually pumpkin. more translucent green pumpkin with purple flake. Ah! These are insane. With These the are chartreuse insane. tentacles. Look at that. Yeah, it's, oh, it's top and bottom? Yeah. No, it's not. That's just how it looks. <laughs> oh, my lord. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's really cool. These are awesome. These so are I think catch his, a million his fish. daughter River picked these out? Yep. Way to go, River. She's a genius. She's a genius. In she should be running this lines. Uh, we've also got something I've been thinking about grabbing for the longest time, but 1 15th of an ounce yeah. little swing jig head from Z-Man. These things are awesome. Definitely a nice finesse hook on here too, so we're definitely gonna have to go try these out with BFS. We got a, a toad thumper. I actually remember seeing these guys at a booth at ICAST. We didn't get a chance, we didn't have time to go check them out, but pretty cool looking frog. Yeah. Check the, the plush level. Ooh. Big, big boy. Ooh, yeah. I'm digging it. So nice and plush. Uh, it's actually like hot glued at the bottom, so it's probably gonna keep water out pretty well. We're not talking about a sinking frog here. And uh, overall, unique body design. I'm, I'm digging it. Next, we have the ultimate swim bait hook. It's called the Tush by Core. Maybe I'm Look just looking at for that, some that freaking boy right there. That <laughs> oh is a gosh. monster. So, this is a seven aught hook, uh, three quarter ounce. So, these come in two packs. We also, do we want to rig on we this? also got this with a two aught and a four aught. So, much more reasonable sizes for reasonable humans. And for the unreasonable Brown Baco class of person, you get the seven on. To go with that catfish, oh, catfish, rank catfish bait, you get the Mudville Catmaster uh, size six. This is a three pack. So these are a special kind of treble hook if you've not catfished before. They have these little uh, like wire springs around them, attach them on the inside. What it is is when you scoop into that bait, which I'm not gonna do here because this office would be rank and my fingers would never recover, uh, you get that stink bait all over it and you kind of push it into the springs. The springs hold on to it so that as the bait's in the water, it holds on to it as long as possible. If you just try to get a hook and you know scoop some out, it will dissipate in like 15 minutes. This will give you like a half hour, 45 minutes before you gotta check your bait again and sort of reset. Old school, always works. All right, then we got some uh, really cool, unique inline spinners. These are from Joe's Flies. Now, the funny thing about Joe's Flies is that I already have them. <laughs> Look at that. I actually got these uh, a long time ago from an uncle of mine. It's a little mousey mouse. Yeah, like they are, I mean, they're, they're flies on the end here. That is a fly tied traditional way. And then you've got a Colorado blade, a nice light wire 
to that as well. So these are pretty light. Um, that one I just showed you, you can go a bit bigger. And yeah, they're really freaking cool. Will you catch? Yes, 100%. Smallmouth love you these. You don't have to ask. These are Oh, back. the chartreuse with the stinger hook. Look at that. Banger. That's awesome. Certified. This is one of my favorite baits of all of all time, the teeny torpedo. So oh, okay. it's a it. micro version of the mm -hmm. standard Hedden torpedo. Mm -hmm. Hedden's one of my favorite bait makers of all time. They make some really cool baits. Uh, this will slap everything. And this is really meant for like an ultralight or a light at the most. Yep. These are really hollow. They're lighter than you think. If you've never held one, they they're, weigh kind, nothing. they're like tinny and they don't weigh anything. Uh, so you can go ultralight on these and they will, they absolutely catch fish. Sometimes nothing will beat this. Yep. Uh, and I'd never seen this color. I didn't either. Have you ever seen, this is called leopard frog? I didn't know this color existed. So the cool. bass one, you can, baby bass you can get anywhere. I've never seen this one. So Raka, you've opened my eyes. Now I know there's another one, so I will get these in all three sizes. Thank you. And finally. Oh yeah! My snacks. <laughs> Holy crap. And it comes with flossing. Oh! <laughs> Wait, so. but so when you're flossing, you just get more flavor, less stuff in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a sweet and spicy and a sweet and spicy. What'd you end up with? Peppered, baby. So probably two peppers. So All right, one yeah. trade? No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. All right yeah. so these were made by like his friend's neighbor's no, his fifth friend's grade teacher. teacher. <laughs> the family of my son's fifth grade teacher. There you go. So his son's teacher. They. Do everything. The full process is covered. The normal <laughs> process is you get beef and you dry it in a dehydrator. These guys raise them, slaughter them, butcher them, do the thing. No dehydration. This is gonna... And these are smoked, right? Oh, smoky. Whoa. Whoa. Spice is very late. It's very good. That was like a 10 out of 10 jerky. All right, y'all, that was a lot of, this is a disaster. What did you do to my desk? Time to go home. So we just unboxed a heck ton of stuff and now we're gonna have to go fishing at some yep. point. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to try out, so lots of different videos coming to your guys' way. Excited to actually be fishing again. iCast is over, mm -hmm. like it is time for the fun content to Let's come go. back. Special thanks to Rock of Blades uh, who sent us on his own dime. I cannot express, I've never been able to, how appreciative we are of that. Uh, thank you so much, brother, and can't wait to see you in November and whoever else happens to uh, be the winner on the Knucklehead Bass Tournament Series. We're excited to see y'all. It's gonna be like a gigantic fishing party. Get in on the series while you still can. If you can't get in on it, just join us down in Alabama and we'll be talking about it a whole bunch before then as well and maybe we can do an impromptu meetup. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you to Rock of Blades and all the other folks who sent us stuff involved here. We appreciate you and we'll see you on the next video.